guys, I'm using a new um, camera today, so I hope it turns out all right. I wanted to give you guys a nursery tour for Colton. So let's see if we can start out over here. When you walk in, um, here's his crib that he has yet to use. He just turned five months and he still sleeps with us, which is just fine with me. He has some decorations up there on the wall. Um, I ordered these off Etsy, actually. Um, so his theme was giraffes, elephants, and then like the, oh, you can't see it over there, but the ABCs, one, two, threes thing. Um, we also liked to put up one, um, we, I, I personally like this one, um, this little, where this child be prayed. And the Lord answered our prayer for Samuel. I really like that one, so I had that one put up. And then, of course, his name. This is the only, like, um, teal wall in the whole nursery. So, I also ordered these from Etsy. Um, they were a lot of money, actually. They're really expensive. But I think they're really cute. You've got, like, the middle picture with, like, the two giraffes and the baby giraffe. And then, um... It says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, which is another song that I love. And I just like that wall. It's just, that's all that's on that wall. Um, it's just the, the paintings. Um, over here, we have a chair where I nurse them a lot. And there's this little table right here. I got this off Amazon before we, well, when we were expecting Mavericks, so probably like three or four years ago. It's really nice. It was like $20, but it has these, I'll show you guys. All these socks I need to get rid of. How many of you have baby socks that you never used? These are awesome though. These are little Arm & Hammer bags, um, plastic bags. They go in your diaper bag. And they're really cool. You, you can put um, like dirty diapers in them until you get home. Or if you don't have a trash can nearby. And I have like obviously four rolls that I don't need. So I need to give those away. And then I have like these cute little shoes like a friend gave me that he'll never wear. Um, vitamin D drops. If you're breastfeeding, your baby needs vitamin D drops. And I've got two boxes of those in there. And then just, I think that's it. This is the sling to his infant bath, which he doesn't, he no longer needs because he's, he is bigger than this sling now. And then these two drawers are actually empty. Um, this is a cute little light that I got from, um, I think I got it from Amazon where I get like everything else. But, so yeah, cute little light with the elephant and a monkey. The, that sound machine behind, behind the light. Um, my best friend swears by this thing. She bought it for my first baby, and I said, you got to get me another one for my second baby and my third baby. Um, I don't know what it's called. I guess it's called My Baby. Um, but it's a sound machine, and I'll let you hear it. Let me turn this light off. So there's different sounds, and you can adjust the volume over here. Um, but the cool part is... Um, you can turn on the projection and then, of course, I have to turn the light off to see how to projection. There it is. And you can put different discs in. There's like the, I think this one is like the moon. There it is, the moon one. What is that one called? <laughs> the moon one. <laughs> Counting sheep or something. Anyways. Um, you can put different discs in and it plays, um, plays different projections. And then these are the little, there's also white noise like rain and stuff. We just love it. So there's the rocking chair with my lovely back brace because my back is just ruined from three kids. I love this little picture of a giraffe and she's um <clears throat> it's a mama giraffe looking down on her baby giraffe so that's cute all right on this wall we've got his dresser and then sort of some storage and some more <clears throat> prints sorry you guys i've had a cold it's been really hard to talk 
Um, and I've said this before in another video, this is actually not a balance. It's, it's actually a, a blanket. Um, when Maverick was in the NICU, um, a good friend of mine actually made that for him for the isolate that he was sleeping in. And that's where I got the theme of the, like, ABC123 thing. See that? And, like, the giraffes and stuff. And green and blue are his colors. So, um, I couldn't find a balance, though, even on, on Etsy. So, I just hung the blanket up, and nobody has said a thing, so I guess you can't tell. Um, he's got some green curtains. This is just, all my boys have their first teddy bear, and I bought this for him when he was in the NICU. Um, this was, what was that, about 20 weeks or something like that? I don't, I don't remember. One of the first pictures of him. I keep some receiving blankets out here. Now, in his top drawer, we just recently bought him all these jewel bibs. And they're really cute. They have lots of cute prints. I think there's like, I don't know, like 12 or 15. There's a whole bunch of really cute prints. But it's those drool bibs that are like bandana bibs. And they have the buttons in the back. And it just hangs in the front. Because he is teething really bad. Um, we've got pants over here. Shorts over here. In the very back, I've got a little organizer. <clears throat> I've got a bulb suction. Just in case, a comb, which we do not need. This is a six month and up passy, so this is what he's going to start using pretty soon, actually. He's almost getting to where he needs that. Um, nail clippers, I have to clip his nails like once or twice a week, it's crazy. Um, and then, all these are all hats. Um, this is a really cute hat that he could still wear because it's sunny outside. Um, but all the other ones are like, infant newborn hats that I need to get rid of. So that's the first drawer. I'm down in the second drawer. This is mostly just storage. I've got um, um, some breast pads. Um, is that what they're called? Yeah, like so that you don't leak breast pads. Um, this is a car seat cover, but it can also be a nursing cover. And it's got purple minky fabric <laughs> because I wanted a girl really bad, so I went ahead and bought it and ended up having a boy. So this is actually really nice, really high quality. I've tried to sell it on Facebook, but nobody wants it, so it's staying in there. This is his bamboo. Um, this is like his 100% bamboo um, bath towel. So there's that. Um, we have these four Gerber, like, burp cloths, um, that we, I used as, like, spit-up rags and stuff like that, just around the house. So those are in storage. We don't really use them anymore. And then this is, I always call it the Moby, but it's the Boba Wrap, you know, that, like, <clears throat> that big piece of fabric that you wrap around yourself? That's what, um, that's what that is, and I love it. A lot of people don't like it because it's just, it just takes a lot of work, but I love it. I have, I got that one with Maverick, actually. All right, and then we've got his blanket drawers. He's got some swaddlers, some muslin, muslin swaddles here, muslin swaddles here. Um, receiving blankets. This is a thermal blue blanket, one of two. And we call them his lovies because he likes to wrap them over his face. And then we have some bigger receiving blankets back here. And it's kind of a nautical, like these are all left over from all the other boys. So kind of a nautical theme. And then last but not least, this is a pink cover I also bought, hoping I was gonna have a girl. So I'm trying to sell that on Facebook too. Um, I got this crib sheet, it matches um, the blanket up top, and got that on Etsy. <clears throat> I haven't put it on yet because he does not need it, of course. This is a spare um, changing table cover. He's got that one on, and then I also have this one, which is just like an elephant or something, I think. I don't know. Um, but they're similar, so I keep that down here. And then we have... Um, this is his pail liner for his cloth diaper, diaper pail. As you guys know, we have cloth diaper. And over here 
is his little storage area. And this is where I keep most of the cloth diapers, his toys, um, and a little box on top with just his daily, daily needs. Um, he's got, this is actually Bentley's little caterpillar. What it is, there's all these buckles. Um, and Bentley loves to, he, I swear he, he's like going to be the kid that runs, you know, runs around and like it. He never stops. He's always got to be going doing something. But anyways, I found this on Amazon and it's like all these different buckles. And so it keeps him pretty busy. And so I bought it for him, but I keep it in here because I just think it looks so cute in here. And he come, comes in here and gets it. And then I've got this long giraffe toy just hanging there. Um, so over here, this was on our crib, like, you know, the crib card. <clears throat> so he was born March 18th at 832. He weighed six pounds, two ounces, and he was 19 inches long. And yes, I'm a boy, so. And let's see, I haven't done a NICU video yet, but like, um, I did a small explanation of what happened to him after he was born. Um, he went to the NICU for a week, so maybe I'll do another video on, on that and what happened. This is just some, um, like supplies that he uses every day. So I had salmonella poisoning three weeks ago, and right now my poor baby has rotavirus, even though he got vaccinated for it. And he's the first one of any <clears throat> one of my babies to have rotavirus. So I went to Dollar Tree today and I bought three of these hand sanitizers. He's got this, I love the lavender, the purple flavored lotion. I put it on him every morning <clears throat> and every night. My God, I can hardly talk. This is my homemade um, butt cream. It's for, um, let me see if I can get it open. Um, I put beeswax, shea butter, and coconut oil in it, and that's it. I've made it for four years now. I started using it on Maverick, and it's very soft. You see that? And it just, you just rub it on their butt, and it prevents and treats um, diaper rash. See? It's very, it's, it's a great, I use the exact same recipe for my nipple cream when I'm breastfeeding. If I have any cracks or soreness or anything, same recipe. And I just put it in these uh, <clears throat> these glass mason jars, and it works great. And I just, it lasts for probably two or three weeks before I have to make another one. So it's great. We use this for everything. Um, my husband uses it on his beard, like to moisten his hair. I use it to moisten my hair. Um, like I said, nipple cream. When I was pregnant, I used to rub it on my belly to try to prevent stretch marks. But it's, it's just, it's so easy. It's three, um, three ingredients. And here's my little, my little jar of nipple cream, which is the exact same stuff, except I don't want to rub this on my nipples because this has been where his butt has been. So I make sure that they are two very separate things. Um, but if you want the recipe to that, it's, it's so easy. It's three ingredients. Like I said, I've been making it for four years and I've been giving them, I think this is a four ounce mason jar, I believe. I've been giving them out as baby gifts and they're just wonderful. Whoop! My hand's still slippery. They're just wonderful. This is a binky clip. We get tired of looking for his binky in the middle of the night and it has giraffes on it. So I thought it was cute. So it's just hanging right there. This, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I think I saw it on Amazon, but it... There's a suction cup, and so you just like, you can release the suction just by pulling up on it like that. But it's really cool. What you do is, and I have Desitin here because he has rotavirus, which causes a lot of dehydration, and, uh, or sorry, it causes a lot of diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration. Um, now, this is just store brand. Um, what you want to make sure of, like this is from CVS. What you want to make sure of, see how it says zinc oxide, 40%. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's what, how much Boudreaux's um, butt paste has, which is my favorite butt cream ever. Like, um, Now, this is diaper safe butt cream, by the way. This butt cream that has the petroleum and the zinc oxide in it is not. 
So big distinction there. Um, but he is in disposables right now <clears throat> because of the rotavirus <coughs> and the um, diarrhea. But anyways, let me go back to tell you how you use this. You you just squeeze a little bit of the cream on, on there and it's kind of like a paddle and you just like wipe it on your baby's butt instead of using your finger so your finger doesn't get if you if you guys have ever had this on your hands you know how sticky and annoying it is so it's it's really cool and you just you know like pretend this is his butt and you just rub it on his butt like that and then if you suction it that makes it easy to clean you just take a wipe and you just pull up on it see it gives you leverage when it's suctioned and it's already clean now of course but that's how you suction it so it's a pretty cool little gadget um lubricating jelly because i take rectal temps on him and let's see that is in here somewhere i have this forehead scanning thermometer which i hate i don't think it works at all this is some Yankee Candle Room Spray. I think it's clean cotton. I love that stuff. It's it's getting low though. I have a little baby. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works, my favorite place to go for stuff like that. But I needed a bigger bottle for the for the rotavirus and the salmonella going on. These are all of his snappies. And if you guys cloth diaper, you know what these are for. I need a better place to put them. I just got this organizing cube a few days ago from Target along with these bins. Um, so they had a big sale for like <clears throat> going back to school and stuff. I use, I brush his hair every day. I actually put like that lavender lotion on his head and then I brush his hair. So he uses the brush every day. Um, these are extra batteries for, let me show you this guy. This is a machine or a I don't know what you would call it, but it's called Snooza. It's also called Lavana. We've used it for all three boys. And what it does right there, it clips on the front of their diaper. And as they breathe, this purple part lifts up. Now, if they stop breathing, let me put it down. If they stop breathing for a certain amount of time, it will... <clears throat> send off like a vibration or something to like sort of wake them up <clears throat> but if it doesn't work it will go off and being that our first two were early and then just having a third anyway having it around we just said yeah we're definitely going to use it see there it is going that's the vibration and then in a minute you're going to hear yeah there it is so so yeah and then you just turn it off so we definitely, I wanted something for the preemies and also for Colton to have. Um, so that's what the batteries are for. Look this up, guys. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody, of course, but this is really great. I think it's great to have if you're a new mom or if you, you know, you just have a baby. Um, we also have the thermometer. This is what I use. <clears throat> to do rectal thermometers, just a digital thermometer. And then I have um, the alcohol pads in there to wipe off the thermometer after we use it. So, um, real quick, I'm already at 18 minutes. I always go over. Maybe I'll do, I'll do a cloth diaper stash, but basically, um, here's this cloth diapers. Um, like, here's one right here. That's like rumpers I just got. I'm so excited to use that. This is his little toy box or whatever you want to call that thing. This is his diaper pail for his um, cloth diapers that go in there. And these are some from before we um, went to disposables while he's got the diarrhea. Okay, on this wall, we've got a couple giraffes. We've got a clock with his name on it <clears throat> that my grandma made. She has made all my boys um, clocks with their names on it. And then down here, I have just some extra... <clears throat> diapers from CVS. I don't know why I got those. I think I plan on doing something with like the container. I'm not sure. This is, um, I'll talk about these with my cloth diaper stash video, but these are cloth diaper liners. And then down here, we just have like some books, um, like the boys' baby books and stuff, and just, just stuff like that. And under here, I got this Target many years ago. 
it's just a, a laundry hamper and I like it that it fits and you can see how the table is wide but most um, changing tables have shelves that go all along like that I like this one that it's because it's open um, and you can just slide this under here and as you're changing your baby you know on a changing table just throw the clothes down there and it's really great all right, just to hurry up real quick, these are the disposables that he's in right now. Um, just some leftover shoes. This is his box that I use for his cloth wipes. I will do the <clears throat> do a video on that. Um, told you about the nipple cream, and that's really it. I mean, he's got a closet, of course, but, you know, clothes, cloth diapers, cloth inserts, paper towels, which we use as liners, and some extra clothes from friends and stuff. And then up here is his old clothes um, that need to go in the attic or be sold. I have to look through those. Um, he has a humidifier. And last but not least, he has this um, Lily, I think it's called a Lily Baby. Lily, yeah, Lily Baby um, Baby Carrier. I got it off Facebook brand new for $80. <coughs> and I thought that was a great deal. So, and I love it and he loves it. All right, I can hardly talk, so I'm going to get off here now. Let's see if I can do this right. I hope you can see me. I'm going to get off here now and put something on my throat. <clears throat> this will be Colton's, um, like, nursery tour video, I guess. So I'll do some more on his cloth diaper stash. What else is I going to do? Let me know if you want to do, I'll do a video on how to make that cream, the butt cream. And any other videos you want to see. Okay, just let me know. Thanks for coming by, y'all. See you later. Bye.